What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 76 video. So in this one we are going to be making our way over to vault -Tec University uh, because the Overseer basically wants us to go over there and see if we can find the secrets to this mysterious vault that she wants us to go check out essentially. Uh, which by the way in the last video we actually got both the Raiders and the Settlers of Appalachia inoculated. So it looks like everything is on the upward uh, trend for the people of the Appalachian Mountains so it should be pretty interesting. So for now though let's go ahead and go make our way over to vault -Tec University and see what situation it's like over there. Alright so first things first before we end up getting attacked by everything around here uh let's go ahead uh where's vault -Tec university it's over here right all right enter vault -Tec university 10 caps all right i'll take i'll take it i'm gonna have to freaking unload some stuff here dude because i'm already running running low on uh inventory space <clears throat> so uh we need to definitely be careful with that It's going to be a while, man. It sucks because I really wanted to use laser weapons in this game. But this character is going to take... It's going to be a while before I can uh, pretty much uh, transfer all the points over and move, like uh, get all the perk points that I need and everything. It's going to be a while. It's all good. No, I don't care about feeding the people. As up responders, the food processing machines at Mama Dolce's if you say so. cooled down enough to work again. I've set them up to make cans of stew using the ingredient uh, containers spread around the factory. Well, the machines make a hell of a racket, really? so you'll probably get some unwanted guests. Well, first of all, let's get that out of the way. Um, Where? Why doesn't it... Should be under daily, right? The talk to Davenport? There it is. Alright, let's go turn that off and make our way into vault -Tec University. Looks like it's going to tell me to go the back way, maybe? Or the side way? I'm not sure. <clears throat> maybe we should uh, drink some water before we die, huh? Yeah, that's good enough for now. vault -Tec University. I don't really care about feeding the people right now, so I'm not even going to worry about it. I ended up killing this dude in my freaking main character's playthrough. <laughs> I don't know why, I just kind of felt like killing him. So I did. Where the hell are we? Um. Hello. Goodbye. Approach and identify Let's switch camera yourself. views because I can't see shit Law the other way. <laughs> Goodbye. I'll be taking both of those. Thank you very much. I know there's a restricted section of the universe. <clears throat> you think the students never know where you can go? It does not matter what you may have seen or heard before Area you graduated secure. over. Seer, that is not my concern. Oh, I see one of your residents has arrived. Come here. We need to discuss this ridiculous request of yours. Uh, what's up? The overseer <laughs> mentioned there would be more people coming. Uh... Did she tell you that we need to get into the restricted wing of vault -Tec University? Assuming there even is a restricted section, and I am not verifying that, neither of you have vault -Tec University credentials. <laughs> um... Uh, there's got to be another way. Protocols on this matter are clearly established and will be strictly enforced. They will not be circumvented. Well, 
I mean, the overseer did graduate from here. She should hopefully have access, doesn't she? Faculty and staff determine who goes where in this university. Nah, former students. I might be the only human being connected to this place that's still alive. My authority doesn't override yours? No, it does not. And for the record, I was the dissenting opinion on fast tracking your overseer assignment. You are not pushing your way through me. Well, uh, well, everyone's dead. You're definitely not protecting anybody anymore, man. So there's got to be a way, right? The condition of the outside world is not my problem. I see neither of you are going to relent very well. There is a problem you can help me with. This university needs graduates. And while your overseer has already been through the program, you are living and breathing enough to join this year's class. This is ridiculous. Even if we had four years to waste, which we don't, the university is empty. There's no professors anymore. Emergency protocols allow the Mr. Handy janitorial <laughs> staff to run entrance straight through to the final exam. Their ability to run the vault simulation is experimental, but more than adequate for the task. Um... What do you need, uh, why do you need a graduated class? Producing quality graduates is the very foundation of my purpose. A purpose that has gone unfulfilled for far too long. So how does this test work then? You will be given a scenario that you need to accomplish in the vault simulation area the handies will play as the residents you need to oversee fine so Supp i suppose i'll do your little exam so give me everything i need so i can so i can complete your little exam glad we agree in this test scenario your ball has divided into factions you must resolve the conflict any way you see fit. Your chief of security will fill you in on the details. Good luck. I'm not familiar with this test scenario. Professor Bott must have come up with it on his own. Sure. A vault simulation run by robots. All right, sounds good. Let's go. Be prepared for anything. Will do, ma'am. Like this guy attacking me for no reason. Power hit! Oh, here it comes. I found you. Die! Wasn't there another one? Oh, I guess the overseer is following me. This area clear. Proceeding with. I don't even know which way I'm supposed to go, so. Identify yourself. I. Yeah! I'll be taking that lead. Thank you very much. Ooh, let's listen to this while we kill everything else. Turn down the potential boss. Turn down day. for what? If you told me when I first got here that I would be anything other than the overseer of a control vault, I wouldn't have believed you. Now that I'm here, I'm a little more realistic about things. The I'm overseer at Vault 96. <laughs> One of the hottest postings outside of 76 wouldn't even give me the time of day. The man sent me a form letter as a rejection, for God's sakes. <laughs> At this rate, I'm gonna end up shipped out to the West Coast to work as a janitor in 29 with a bunch of obnoxious rich teenagers or something. 
It's pretty clear to me now that Voltec is a hive of nepotism and ass kissing. You can't get ahead unless you attend every lecture and write every paper. There's no passion. And some of these kids, <laughs> they just don't understand what Voltec is. Meanwhile, I have to take my third run at senior thesis. Should be entertaining to get rejected by Dean Elliott yet again. Anyways, cash is tight, so I'm gonna take part in hopefully my last thesis project in the Sim Vault. This kid seems fine, and his experiment is about food, so I get to eat well, at least. That was a pretty long uh, hollow tape, but I'm not really surprised being Fallout 76, of course. Oh, this is the guy. Alright, let's go. Chief. Uh, Security Chief Robinson. You're the new overseer? Yep. Heck of a boiling pot you're stepping into. <laughs> Little tiff between the engineers and the med staff is ready to blow. Um. <laughs> uh, we'll give you the full situation report. There was a reactor leak. Kellerman, head engineer's apprentice, rushed in to fix it. Poor kid got a full dose of rads. That's absolutely terrible. That's not the worst of it. Dr. Loras, head of the medical team, refused to send in help. <clears throat> Quarantined the reactor area so nobody died trying to go in there. Head engineer Brass accused the doctor of murder. <gasps> then, a couple days later... People noticed that one of the doctor's assistants, Estella, was missing. Gasp. Everyone thinks it's a revenge killing. An eye for an eye. Um. Was the bottle. Uh, the bottle. Was the body ever found? No. There's no evidence, no weapon, not one speck of blood. I'm at a loss over this here. Need you to make sense of all this. Sorry, I couldn't be of more help. Uh, well, no worries, man. I'll get to the bottom of this. Thank you for your assistance, regardless. I'll be here if you need me, Overseer. Will do. I say we just kill the robots. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright. Event failed. I don't care. There's no real people to... Well, actually, there is now, isn't there? <laughs> Oops. Um, huh. Looks like there's two over here. And that's it. So let's go... Okay, he's, he's actually right here. You, Dr. Loris. Ah, Overseer. I'm so glad you've stepped into this little mess of ours. I'm sure you'll resolve the matter swiftly. Um... I'd like the key to the reactor area, thank you. I'm afraid I can't really comply with that request, Overseer. The reactor is under quarantine. The radiation could kill you. Uh, you worry too much, Loris. Relax. I know what I'm doing. Very well. As long as you take all the necessary precautions. Here. Thank you. Wait, hold on. How I want to talk I to you. How can I help? Uh, I want to talk to you about your feud with the head engineer, Brass. I don't have a feud with Brass. He has a feud with me. I'm only doing my job, Overseer, looking out for the health of the Vault. And I'm sorry to say that, in my medical opinion, the Chief Engineer is suffering from paranoia and revenge fixation. We can't let that fester. Um... I heard you quarantined uh, the reactor. An engineer died. Oh, nasty business. But I'm not going to apologize for it. It had to be done. As doctors, we take an oath to do no harm. But sometimes, we have to choose between saving one life or saving several. So what are, we, what are you suggesting we do, then? Simple. You can authorize me to place the head engineer under medical supervision. A combination of chems and therapy will do the rest. There might be some protest. But I think our combined authority will keep that to a minimum. Yeah, I don't think that's what's going to happen. I'll think about it. Of course, it's your decision, Overseer. I'm only trying to help. 
He seems like he's trying to manipulate me somehow. Let's see if we could talk to... Oh, no, that's the reactor area. Where's the other dude? Is there, uh, he's got to be downstairs, right? Let's talk to the other dude really quick. I want to know what's going on with this dude. Wait, hold on. Where is he? Right in here. You. Yes, overseer. Yeah, you calm your little butt down, all right? You got a problem with me? Not yet. Not a fan of conversation, I see. No. Uh, okay, well, anyways, I'm here to talk about your feud with Dr. Loris. Don't care what security says. Dr. Loris had no right to quarantine the reactor. Leaving Kellerman to die? Murder. That's all there is to it. I want justice, Overseer. I understand that. Uh, I heard Loris' assistant is missing, though, and that's ultimately why I'm here. Did they tell you how me and my crew scoured every inch of this vault looking for her? Yeah, that's right. Every loose access panel and every vent. You think I wanted anyone else to die? The only one here that cold-blooded is Dr. <laughs> Loris. He proved that with Kellerman. So you want me to arrest Dr. Loris? Is that what you're suggesting? No. Half this vault thinks he did the right thing. You do anything to him now, that split will turn violent. I want him exposed. Prove to everyone that he's the bad gear in this vault's engine. Um. So it looks like I have to take sides. I'll think about it. Huh. Fine. But when you're ready to step up and be the overseer, you let me know. Or I'll search the reactor room and hopefully we find some evidence that doesn't make me choose a side <laughs> that's that'll be the day uh search the reactor area let's go is this the reactor re reactor key thank you thank you uh all right let's open this door let's go around these things oh i thought it was a person estella's holotape kellerman oh we found estella Let's play it. This is Estella, Dr. Loris' assistant. I She's French. snuck into the reactor to help Kellerman, but there's not enough time. The reactor is going to go critical. I'm dosing Kellerman with enough right away so he can finish fixing it. But the radiation is going to get us. At least the vault will be safe. Damn. They kind of killed themselves, but what? Why would the radiation destroy the robots? Is that is that how? I don't. You know what? You guys can let me know down in the comments because I have no idea how radiation works. So I'm not gonna pretend I do. All right, let's go ahead and go up. Uh, Robinson, you'll never believe what I just found out. Did you have a question, Overseer? More like I have some information about uh, Estella. You should probably take a look at this holotape. You found her? Poor lass. I'm guessing she didn't make it. Nope. Let's take a listen then. Uh, so she wasn't murdered. Nope. She was trying to save Kellerman. Yep. Two of them ended up saving us all. Absolutely. This is big news, Overseer. We take this to Brass and Loris. It could end the infighting for good. Well, gather them up. Let's put this ugliness behind us, man. We have to pave the way to the future. Or At so I hear. once, Overseer. Everyone gather in the common area. We have an important there go. announcement from the Overseer. Wait for me. Oh, my God, Chief Robinson. You're fast as hell. Hiya! Intruder What's this detected. about, Robinson? It's I have charts to update. Maybe the Overseer's finally decided to throw your murderous backside in jail. That's enough! <laughs> the Overseer has discovered what happened to Estella. This hollow tape proves she went into the quarantined reactor area on her own. She and Kellerman saved the vault. They worked together? Medical and engineering? Oh, we've been fools, Brass. 
bickering like two old men while the young ran off to solve our problems. It should have been us. I... actually agree with you there. So that's it then? No more arguing? You'll both work under the Overseer's authority? Yes. Yeah. It's the right thing to do. Good job. That's a solution any Overseer should be proud for getting to. Everyone learns we have to work together. Thank you. So what now? Talk to Professor Bot. Uh, so now we gotta go all the way back. Pretty sure it's over there by this Overseer's room. Shouldn't be too far. Um, was it this way? I think so. Alright. Um, this place is kind of confusing. Um, upstairs. How do I go upstairs? Oh, okay, right here. Nice. There we go. Wrong room. This way, maybe? I don't know. There you are. You, talk to me. Well, it appears you passed the test. Barely exceeding my low expectations of you. Thank you. Um, zero star. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, we did what you asked me. Uh, what you asked us to do. So, hopefully, you'll let us get access to the restricting uh, restricted wing now. Yes, I suppose we had a deal. You are officially a graduate of Voltec University, entitled to access to all areas. Back down in the vault, simulation space is a maintenance area. It conceals a secondary room that I believe will have what you are looking for. It was almost good to see you again, Professor Bob. <laughs> yes, Overseer, I suppose it was. Congratulations on one of your residents passing the program. You must be proud. Actually, I am. Afraid I don't have my old cap and gown to share with you. Hopefully, what we'll find in the restricted wing will be even better. Maybe. So let's go search the restricted wing then. Uh, he said it was back downstairs in the simulation room. This is this mission's literally a lot of back and forth, isn't it? Uh, I think I came this way. There it is. Let's go ahead and go all the way around. Now bring it around town. I just don't know where in the simulation room it is. Oh, look, they're all standing here still. Holy shit, I got mad fucking hops, dude. Look at that shit. I guess it's in here? Yep. Oh, God. This is it. Somewhere past this maintenance area is the restricted wing. Where's she at? Oh, there she is. All right, let's go. Who's ready to have their oh, God. Looks like we got a Mr. Gutsy to contend with. You! Sit your ass down. I'll take that aluminum, though. So, just stand by, alright? Where's that Mr. Gutsy? Oh, I see him. He's up there. He will die. I'll make sure of it. No, die! Oh, wait, I forgot. I wish we could use vats with heavy attacks, man. I don't know why I can't. Well, maybe maybe we can. It's just not working for me. I don't know. But I wish I could at bare minimum. All right, so there's nothing over here. Maybe what I'm looking for is down there. It says exit, though. Um, No, yeah, this is where I came in from. So let's go back up here. First of all, what's in here? Oh, I found it. There we go. Here, this has to be it. Let's see what they left behind. Will do, ma'am. Um, 
I wonder. Let's sit down and watch this presentation. Here, hold on. Let's uh, go into photo mode so that we can see gold. better. This Ooh, gold. Metal has been the Ooh, I'm taking a picture of this. Trade since time immemorial. And in the event of nuclear war, this precious resource I guess we don't need this. will once again become invaluable to rebuilding America's economic future. That is why Voltec has been commissioned to build a different and very real Vault. Name for the atomic number of the metal it will guard, Vault 79 will be the new home for all of America's gold reserves. Fort Knox will secretly be retired and emptied. Its gold bullion transported to the new vault, where it will be safe behind Vault Tech's top of the line automated security. Biometric recognition to verify authorized personnel. Sophisticated laser grid fields to ward off intruders. And in the unlikely event of a breach, military grade defensive turret systems built in partnership with our friends at Robco. All of this along with vault signature lead line containment walls, airtight construction, fusion power generators, and automated manufacturing facilities. Vault 79, a golden future for the America we all know and love. Brought to you by Vault Tech. Well then, is that it? I guess so. So, over here, you're going to talk to me or what? For once, the rumor mill gets it right. There is a treasure in that vault. All of America's gold reserves. Uh, that's gonna be a lot harder than it looks, man. I'm sure that place is secure. Even getting into the vault at all is gonna be a challenge. Exactly. Let alone dealing with that buffet line of intrusion countermeasures. But the reward? Put aside the base instinct of hoarding wealth. What could we do with a vault full of precious metals? Uh, well, I mean, if every if everyone knew we had it, we could build a base uh, to recommission trade, essentially. Establish our own currency. Exactly. No more barter or wild, unregulated proxies. It won't happen overnight. But one day we could have leverage to create a new economy, property rights, taxes, laws, a government. Uh, uh, let's see here. All right, but first we need to get inside though. We won't be able to do it alone. We need help. Even more importantly, we need people to buy in. To see that gold is their future. Fortunately, you just made contact with two large groups of people who both seem to have their own talents. So the Settlers, F Foundation, and of course, the Raiders. Uh... The Settlers, F Foundation know how to build things. Maybe we could dismantle them too? Wait, what? Um. Hell, if you're gonna break into something, why not a bunch of raiders? It's like they're tailored for this job. Not my first pick, but it's hard to argue with your point. Do me a favor, talk to them both. Get all the options on the table. Oh, sounds good to me. Talk to Meg. Uh... Alright. Well, that's gonna have to do it for this video, you guys. In the next video, we're definitely gonna be going over to 
both uh, Foundation and the Crater and talk to both Meg and Paige to see how we could potentially work together to get into Vault 79. So full disclosure, uh, I haven't fully decided which side I want to do. Um, on my main character, I sided with the uh, Settlers. So this one I intended to side with the Raiders. I'm not entirely sure that's what I want to do. Let me know down in the comments. But one thing for sure that I do want to do is I want to exhaust the entire storyline for each side before I make a decision. So uh, with your help, I definitely want to find out what exactly, which side I exactly I should go. So if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.